Hi guys, it's Nick at Atlantic Laser Skinning. Today we're going to talk about being in an open area where you're skinning with a ferro skinner and you don't have geometry around you to help the software, the scene software, or the Recap 360 software put your scans together in registration. That's when you're going to need to use targets. And today we're going to talk about properly moving sphere targets during your project. We have a lot of people that call in. They want to rent a scanner, they want to buy a scanner, or they want to go out and scan a project, and they think they need two or three different sets of targets to go out and do the target, to do, go out and do the project. What they want to do is scan a large open area, or maybe scan one large piece of equipment, and then preset all of the sphere targets around so that they don't have to move them, they just move the scanner. The problem with that is you're never going to really know if you're close enough to these different targets when you have set your scanner up. If it's 50 or 60 feet and the target's only being picked up at 30 or 40, maybe instead of six targets being picked up, you're getting two or three and your registration's not gonna work. So now we're gonna go through a simple way to scan for miles with only six targets. So as you can see, we've got our scanner set up. We've got our sphere targets placed in front and behind the scanner. Three on one side, three on the other side where you're going to be moving the scanner towards. What we're gonna do is we're gonna move the scanner that direction. We're going to leave the three sphere targets that we jump and the furthest away, these three that are currently on this side are going to be moved to the other side of the scanner. It's very simple. Obviously, this is a very abbreviated project. We would normally be moving the scanner much further, and the spheres would be further apart, further away from the actual ferro scanner. But today, this is just to show you how to do it. Now, as you can see, we've moved the ferro scanner one time. The three targets that were there previously on this side of the scanner remain. We've moved the sphere targets that were furthest away to their new location here. This is important. These three targets remain in the same spot. These three targets are what's going to com help combine scan one with scan two. The computer is gonna look at these three as registration points, anchors, that are the same in this scan location as that scan location. That's what's gonna put your scans together. If they're too far apart, if there's only one that remains in the same spot between the two scan locations, it's not gonna register your project. If there's two, probably not gonna register your project. And if it does, it's not gonna be a very tight registration. Three targets at the least are gonna give you a really good tight registration. By moving the targets between each scan, it doesn't take any longer, but you know that you have scan locations and target locations that are going to be close enough, the targets are close enough to the scanner, they're far enough away from each other, they're properly located so that your registration is going to come together. Because let's face it, there is nothing worse than spending the day scanning out in the field and then coming back to have your project not registered together properly. Again, I can't emphasize this enough, it is not going to save you time to preset a whole bunch of spheres in the field. You're only moving three at a time. You're controlling the distance and the location of the sphere targets when you're moving three and leaving three. You can control things like this photo here. You don't want two sphere targets lined up like this. How do you know that that's not going to happen when you randomly set up 30 targets and then try to move your way through with your, uh, with your scanner? You don't. How do you know that you're going to have three targets that are clearly visible 
in scans one and two or two and three or 23 and 24. You don't. But by moving three and leaving three and only using the total of six, you will always know that your scan distances are correct. Again, here at Atlantic Laser, we recommend with these 145 or 150 millimeter spheres, no more than 35 or 40 feet from the scanner and no more than 10 or 12 feet from each other. And again, not in line like you see in this photo. This will save you time. It will save you headaches and it'll save you going back out into the field and rescanning a project. This is Naked Atlantic Laser Scanning. We are your home for Faro laser scanner rentals, sphere rentals, software rentals, and now drone LIDAR rentals and drone LIDAR sales. We have a Recepi inertial labs, LIDAR units available here, Hasai, Livox, Velodyne. It's all available right here at Atlantic Laser Scanning. Thank you guys for your time and let us know if there's something you'd like us to tackle on any upcoming videos.